Okay, so the first thing that I really want to talk about is exactly how you want to do your uh, pelvic floor movements. This was something I had no clue about. Literally, um, I just thought Kegels were basically all that you were supposed to do in order to heal your pelvic floor, and that's not necessarily true. So, uh, what I learned, and I had to go to physical therapy after my first baby because I had some scar tissue development uh, where I, I had torn a little bit. And so that was super enlightening. I had no idea that I was able to contract my pelvic floor muscles, but I wasn't actually able to release them. And controlling those muscles, so contracting and activating, and then releasing is just as important as being able to activate and practicing that. Uh, soon after birth is a big deal because you want to connect your mind back to those muscles after they've kind of been torn and stretched and moved around they need to come back together and your mind has to be able to communicate to those muscles again and sometimes that takes some work in itself so learning to activate your pelvic floor isn't as simple as just trying to squeeze those muscles down there, your pelvic floor is connected to your diaphragm. So when you breathe in, it pushes your diaphragm down, which also pushes your pelvic floor down. Everything's connected this way. So in order to properly be able to engage the pelvic floor muscles and pull in, you have to exhale. So your diaphragm moves up and everything can move up this way and then it can release and come back down. So your breath is super, super important when you're trying to do these exercises. Um, and I had no clue. I thought I was just like squeezing, doing the Kegels and, and that was it, but that's not how it goes. So as you are postpartum now with your new baby, you can lay down on the floor. You can have your baby on you. It's super simple and this is how I do it. So you're going to want to lay down this way, put a triangle on top of your pelvis. Then you want to keep that level right here. So that way you're in what's called neutral spine. That's super, super important. From there, you can inhale. And as you exhale, that's when you want to activate those muscles and think of pulling in and up. And then it's going to come in this way and kind of pull these muscles down right in here and hold it for as long as you can. That is the most uh, simplest exercise that you can start doing right away are just pulling in as you, you want to imagine those muscles coming together and coming in and then pulling that core in as they come up. And then you want to try to hold it for as long as possible. That, that was super hard for me. I couldn't even do it. I was, uh, just could contract and then it was like I would lose control. So practicing that right away is going to really help you um, pull that core back in and, and get control of those muscles. Once you have your mind control over those muscles, then you'll start to be able to increase your strength. Super important, that'll get you started.